So using my mirrorless DSLR, the Xeon Crane 2 Osmo from DJI, iPhone 12 Pro. There we go. So this, in a nutshell, integration of the interior and the exterior 360 tour. Hi everyone, today we are with Tariq. He's one of Glow3D users. He's done a fantastic integration of uh, Kula and Glow3D where he's using um, Glow3D for exterior, uh, 360 photography or RVs, and then he's, he's integrating the Kula interior virtual tour into our exterior sort of virtual tour and, and creating a like sort of a combination of interaction between you know interior exteriors i will let him to take away from here to tell us um about his business what he does tell us about how he uses glow 3d how does he capture things how does he embed them so this way it might be useful for uh, so many of um, people in our audience uh, thank you so much Tariq. um please let us know thank a little you. bit about your stuff yeah my pleasure um again my name is uh, Tariq kogadai and uh, yeah, I'm a photographer um, in uh, San Diego, California. That's what I'm based out of. Been doing this professionally for uh, almost a good nine years now. I started uh, CoPhoto as the company, KOH Photo, um, hence my last name and just shorten it to KOH. But um, yeah, so I started doing all kinds of stuff until I figured out my exact niche. So I focus on commercial photography only, which is, uh, you know, business to business. Just to widen uh, the range of the things that I do, I started a separate website called pixforcars.com. That's P-I-C-S, the number four, cars.com, that only focuses on automotive photography. And that's where Glow3D comes in. So uh, I started doing cars, inventory pictures for dealerships, but uh, you know, technology is moving on and during COVID, not a lot of people like to leave their houses. So online presentation is everything. So I have to keep up with the technology. I uh, invested in a 360 camera as well as in a couple of different gimbals and everything to offer virtual tours of interiors for real estate and you know RVs, even some bigger cars and so forth. And most importantly, the exterior rotating carousel image, if you will. What I want to talk about is mainly the RV pictures. So what I do is I take interior pictures of the particular coach, and exterior images for their listing on the client's website. And then the interior 360 that goes with the 360 camera and then the exterior 360 where I'm using Glow 3D. But the idea was to combine it all in one so that way the viewer doesn't have to jump all over the place to try to find certain things. And uh, yeah, so, um, just to give you a quick uh, glimpse of the material, uh, some of the equipment that I use. Hang on. Just to, because I'm new to Glow 3D, just to make sure I get the best outcome, what I did with every unit for the exterior 360 tour, I walked around and did pictures first. So using my mirrorless DSLR, I walked around that particular unit, every foot took a click. It came out to about 100 and 110 images. And then I switched to video. I walked around it. Obviously it was kind of shaky and everything. So I invested in a gimbal. This is the Xeon Crane 2. The DSLR camera sits, I don't know if you can see it or not, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It it's right, yeah. right on here. And then it just stops moving when I move around. That's really nice. You know, and it has all different kinds of adjustments, cool. the way it's supposed to sit on the um, on the gimbal, the camera. And it also has the functions right here. I can go follow mode, um, even free mode. And then with this, I can focus the camera. It has a little turning knob thing over here where I can just keep the camera in focus and then this allows me to control all the functions, the f-stop, shutter speed, and so on and so forth, the camera, you know, just, and then the bottom unscrews, battery goes in there, 
And yeah, that's the thing right here. How I, much is it, if you don't mind asking? How much did you purchase it? About three hundred dollars or something. Yeah, okay. So not really yeah. very expensive. And I, you know, when I first try something out, I always go and find it used on like OfferUp, Facebook Marketplace or so. This was on Facebook Marketplace and I got it for 150 bucks. That's amazing. It's perfect to play around with until I yeah. can. Uh, I mean, I have to play with stuff first in order for me to determine which is the best uh, tool for me. Taking the pictures all the way around and then the video with the DSLR holding my gimbal and walking all the way around. And then thirdly, what I did was the other gimbal that I have is the Osmo from DJI. It looks a little like this. See this thing right there. Here's the functions, the knob, record, stop, and the cell phone goes right in here. So, uh, the problem I ran into with my old cell phone was that I needed a lot of backup room, um, especially with RVs. The problem was that with the RVs, they're so large and I didn't have enough backup room. So I stopped using this and that's why I use my DSLR because with a different lens, I can have a wide angle, so I don't have to uh, walk so far away. So, but even not, Sean, I invested in the iPhone 12 Pro. There we go. Yeah, that's yeah. It, it has a really nice ultra wide lens. And, and it, it is. Makes so I, it, it gives me the option to zoom out a little farther than the actual standard one to one ratio. So it allows me to stay closer and uh, utilize the room that I have uh, to its max, and it gives me better quality. Okay, so it took me about a good feature. month to kind of get my feet wet and try all kinds of different ways out to figure out which one is the best suitable for me. Um, I love the mobile version of it because it just goes automotive, boom, I click on it. It's, you have to, the, 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 the oval eye where yeah. the unit's supposed to stay right in the frame and I'm using it and it works like a charm. It works really, really well. But that's for the X-Series 360. And then what I do is I put the hotspot on your software just the way it allows me when you click on it, then it takes us into the interior 360. And that's where my other software comes in place. For the interior 360 hardware wise, I use this camera right here. Nobody needs to know this, but it shoots, it shoots in 5.7K. This is a GoPro Max. It has a 180 degree camera on this side and 180 on that side. The stitching, everything is done inside this camera. All I have to do is capture and then it spits it out already done in a panoramic format. And that, you know, kind of sort of globes it. Um, I put it on a tripod right here. These things pop out from the tripod. I have to walk outside because I can't be in the picture. So that's what I do. Okay. I was yeah. hoping that you can show us um, a little bit um, like, like the captures you have done and how you're doing the integration. Sure. And, or right. even you can just call t t tell us a little bit about Kula as well and how you have been yeah. using it and how you're mixing that. I use a website called Kula. The way it works over here is, here, let me go to my tours. I labeled every tour with the name or stock number or whatever it is. Let's just say, for instance, we pick this uh, Navion. I click on it and what we see is this interior virtual tour that I took with my GoPro. There you go. This is the edit mode. So what I do is these are hotspots. I add the hotspot to it, go to a different location right here. That's the outside, the inside. So I put open exit door, you click on it. There you go. It opens the door. That's just how I did it. It's two separate pictures. I overlapped them. View external tour. This is where you guys come in. When the customer clicks on this arrow, a new web page opens up, white label, of course. And there it is. This is the exterior tour. Now, this one was taken with my DSLR individual images walking around the truck, about 100 pictures or something. I didn't count them. 
And when somebody's looking at this, there you go. There's uh, uh, the hotspot that I created through Glow 3D. And then when you click on it, so, and that's when it takes me to the Kula page. We just looked at this, we just saw that, I you know. There you go, you see that? Walk through mode, click on it, brings you forward and so on and so forth. That's how I integrated. This is a, for me, a full complete tour. If you can show us how you basically embedded the Cool Up virtual tour into Glow 3D, that would be really good. Sure, yeah, no problem. So say we take, I don't know, this guy, for example, this was taken with individual images and I compressed it so it looks a little weird, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, so um, this is the entrance to the unit. All I did was I'd try to figure out my the first angle. I want the hotspot to show up, which is right here where the, you can see the door. I just hit hotspot over here, add hotspot, boom. It brings me this little plus sign and I put it right on the door. And I right click on it and hit it set as start, meaning this is the first time you will see the hotspot appearing on the entry door. And I'm gonna move it in this direction until you can't see the door anymore. And I put the hotspot right here. I right click on it and go set as end. Now, when you look at it, you can only see it from this angle all the way to this angle. And it becomes dim when it's beyond the start and end point. That's when it starts. So once I have put the hotspot in the right location with the right angles where it's supposed to show, all I do is I click on it, double click on it, this thing opens up, and then I go attach content. And this allows me to put either video or actual panoramic pictures or photo, whatever, you use all the options. What I use is I put embed. With this title, Seneca, and then then I go here in Kula. What I do is when I'm in the middle of a tour, I go share, get link. Here's the regular link to put in your um, uh, URL, or I go to embed HTML. There we go. Copy to clipboard. Go back here, paste that in there, and hit save. Has been updated. Now let's see what it did. Boom, oh, there it is. There you go. And here's the hotspot I created, which is right yeah. here. And then when I click on it, it takes me to the interior tour. Right there. And with all the functions, of course, included. There we go. Um, and then vice versa, of course. So what I do is I go into Kula, and then what I do is inside the tour. So what I do is I just put a hotspot here and I'm just gonna label it exit to exterior tour now this particular hotspot asks me what action i want and i say open url and then ask me to put in the link so i go here and i take this bad boy uh share copy the link and then i go back into cola put the link in right here and I hit save. Oh, now that it's saved, where'd it go? Seneca, here we go. There we go. This is what I just created. When you click on it, a new page opens up and it takes us to the Glow 3D that we created. And obviously here's the hotspot that takes us back inside, back and forth 
there we go. So this in a nutshell is the integration of the interior and the exterior 360 tour. It was a great uh, video and thank you so much for joining us for this. We look forward to see more work from you and uh, we are going to add uh, Tariq's information here in case anybody watches this video and they, they need to contact him directly. Yeah, feel free to reach out to me anytime. I'm always open to cool ideas or working together in any which way or form. Thank you. Have a good evening. Bye. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Yeah,